Hey, what's going on, folks? Welcome to Consultronics. Now, I haven't been on YouTube all that much the last few weeks. Work's been stressing me out. But I'm back now, and quite literally, with a bang. With this, my PC Engine Shoe Mops Special. So to get the ball rolling, I thought I'd try one of the first PC Engine games I ever owned. Every unit. Back when gamers were gamers, before we all became collectors and hoarders, back when you were lucky to get three or four console games a year, and games like these were a common sight and not a niche genre, shoot 'em ups have come a long way over the years, and in many ways haven't changed a bit. But my overriding memory of playing these games, and why I play them today, is the difficulty. Yes, folks, I said the difficulty. It's what kept you interested and meant you kept coming back for more. True, this title isn't the hardest you'll ever play, but for those of us who've become lazy playing current gen led by the nose games, going back to these shoot em ups where no quarter is asked or given, where mercy is for the weak, where the only way to progress is to hone your shoot em up skills to perfection, because there's no time to admire the graphics or appreciate the music, only level after level of death destruction and frustration at your limited skills. So what are you gonna do? Run off screaming with your tail between your legs? Or grab that joypad and charge once more into the breach? Because that's what gamers of my generation did. It didn't matter whether the game was good or bad, hard or easy. We played it and played it until we brought that game to heel. So regardless of what system you owned first, whether it was a Sega Master System, a Nintendo, a Spectrum, or even a Commodore 64, I'm willing to bet that you played more than your fair share of tough games. Because we all did. That's what games were like back then. You had to have the time and the patience. Not like now, we get a stack of new games in, Give them a quick try and think, yeah, I'll come back to that. Nah, back then, we were lucky if we got a handful of games. A year, and that's including Christmas and birthday. So we played those games over and over again, till we mastered them. Largely because we didn't have a choice. But the memories, playing those games created, finishing those games, knowing that we'd just beaten one of the hardest games we'd ever played. Those are the memories which make up the psyche of an old school gamer. With a title like Mr. Helly, the game had better be good. Luckily this is one of the more fun shoot 'em ups available on the PC Engine and one of the games I sought out when I first got my PC Engine console. But surprisingly, there are quite a few PC Engine owners out there who've never heard of this quirky uh, little title. Now true, it's no classic, and in many ways it suffers from the fantasy zone complex, where it's a little bit too cute for its own good, and the graphics look like an explosion at a Crayola factory. For me, growing up, playing games like Afterburner, Xenon, Sagaya on the Master System and graduating up to Thunder Force and Aleste on the Mega Drive, Mr. Heli is what you could call a guilty pleasure. The kind of game you buy from under the counter in a brown paper bag, hoping that nobody you know sees you. But regardless of how dirty this game makes me feel, it's one of the few PC Engine titles I would actually recommend to absolutely everyone, even people not interested in the shoot 'em up genre. And considering the sheer amount and quality of many PC Engine titles, that is high praise indeed. Now this game comes courtesy of Irem, of R-Type fame. But gone are the Geiger-esque levels, replaced instead with these cutesy, cartoony backdrops. And do you know what? I love them. This is one of the PC Engine games I spent the most time on when I first got my console. True, I would come across many, many better titles, but Mr. Heli is a damn fine game.
and deserves a special mention in this video. Because like me, I'm sure there's plenty of people out there who will be put off by the childlike graphics. But underneath the cartoony sprites, there is a truly excellent shoot 'em up game waiting to be discovered. And now we come to the only loose hue card in my collection, Sidearms, Capcom game I think. Another early one I got for my uh, PC engine. This game, I think the best way to describe this game is it requires a bit more luck than it does skill. It's not a case of uh, remembering patterns or anything like that. It's move. Move and shoot. The enemies come steaming in from both sides of the screen. You have two buttons on a standard PC Engine controller. The first button has you shooting left. The second button has you shooting right. The whole game moves at a cracking pace. And you can get all mecked up like this. Lots of power-ups. Lots of hidden items, epic boss battles, like I said the whole game moves at such a fast pace. The screen itself doesn't scroll much quicker than this, but there's so much going on you almost don't have time to think. Which is exactly how any good shoot 'em up should be. Now if I had my way I would show off every single shoot 'em up in my collection and this video would probably run for an hour, but as time is short. I'm sure you all got better things to do than watch me play games. There's going to be one more game. And what's it going to be? Unfortunately it's not Sapphire, but it's a shoot 'em up that's very very dear to my heart. Just the title, Darius Plus. After all these years still makes me weak at the knees. This is one of those games whose reputation precedes it. Long running series now, still going. And yes there have been poor games in the series, but the PC Engine games, Darius Plus, Darius Alpha and many others, up there among some of the greatest shoot -em ups ever made. It's been years since I played this game, so how could I possibly resist getting out once again, having a bash, seeing how far I can get after all these years. Sorry if I've gone quiet there for a little bit folks, I'm just still in awe. There were many games I wanted when I first got my PC Engine console. And this is one of them. It's a few years old now. Many other better games have come along. But for me, I still enjoy it. Still love it. Whether it's this title or the Darius series as a whole. You want quality shoot 'em ups. You can't go wrong. In my opinion, shoot most of this era, there's only Darius and our type. And yes, this game's hard. But not hard hard. It's Vinnie Jones smashing your head in with a car door while yelling obscenities at you hard. But that's what I was saying earlier. It's about perseverance, a bit of practice, and mastering these games. Because when it comes to shoot 'em ups, they really don't get much better than this. Well, to everyone who's made it to the end of this video, thanks a lot. This has been my PC Engine shoot 'em up collection video. 
Now there are lots of other games I would like to have shown off. There are so many good shooters on the PC Engine, it is actually unreal. But, time is short. So, before I go, I'd just like to say, to stuff I wrote and everyone who's been asking, Zero Igon PCFX, it's coming, don't worry. So, like I said, thanks for watching, and I'll have more videos up very, very soon.